tonight are going to be playing some Rogue Knight. My name is Kitamari, and this is Kitamari Plays. We're going to head to the options real quick. It is possible to use a gamepad. I tried, though, and uh, I think I prefer using the keyboard and mouse for this game. <laughs> So, we're going to look at how to play real quick. Resources. First, begin by gathering resources. Resources are found in nodes, either wood, stone, or iron. These can be mined with the multi-tool. Use the multi-tool by pressing left mouse button while facing a resource node. When a node is completely broken, it will drop resources. Acquiring multi-tool upgrades will allow you to harvest resources faster. Gold is also required for building structures and can be acquired by slaying enemies. Check the help menu. Uh, on your journey, you will encounter many enemies. Dispatch them with your weapon. Right mouse button. So, at the start of your journey, taking down zombies might be a real struggle, but with some character upgrades, the hordes will crumble. Make sure to collect any food you find. At the start of each day, one unit of food is removed from the resource bar. At the top of the screen, an additional food will also be removed for each NPC that is active within the base. So this is basically a base building game where you're... Uh, creating and customizing your own kingdom, but it's also uh, survive. It's also based around survival uh, building. By pressing B, you will open up the building menu. Here, you can select items to build, each requiring varying resources. These are shown at the bottom of the build menu. Select an object and press left mouse button. Yep. NPCs will encounter survivors. As the day turns to night, you may find yourself lost in the dark. Pressing T activates the lantern. Death is inevitable. Uh, after that, you will be sent to the meta upgrade screen where you can purchase permanent upgrades that persist through multiple runs of the game. I really like this. This is, uh, this is a good feature. <laughs> so it is a roguelike in that sense. Uh, well, roguelite more like. And upon continuing, all rescued NPCs and found weapons will be lost. Meta upgrades. You can permanently increase your odds of survival by purchasing upgrades from this menu. Though these upgrades, uh, through these upgrades, each run will be slightly easier. The upgrades are broken into four categories. You can find out more information. So I do wish that some of these were integrated directly into the game, but it's just uh, start a new game. Check things out. Fundamental foraging. We are gonna gather uh, three berries. Gather berries to prevent hunger. Approach a bush and press E to collect. If you have no food at the start of a day, you will gain the hungry condition and will incur a penalty to damage output. So we have a... Uh, let's see. Let's get an exit there. So I'm going to collect, collect these, these berries. We also get money for that, so we automatically get some credit for our finished quest. You'll need to acquire resources to build structures. Resources include wood, stone, and iron. Stand near a log or stump and press a left mouse button to use your multi-tool. Left mouse button. And holding it down doesn't appear to help. We have to mash it a bit. Great. Yay, I think that's another completed quest. Which... You can check out the map with M, B with build. We can make uh, make something, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that quite yet. It is 7.40 a.m. I'm trying to be mindful of the time, simply because uh, nighttime is no joke. <laughs> I've already played this game a little bit, and nighttime is a dangerous time. It reminds me almost of dark wood. The way that nighttime works in this game. The land is plagued with undead. You'll have to fight to survive. Press right mouse to attack with your equipped weapon. Open your weapon inventory by pressing I. Hold shift to strafe and keep sh keep facing your target. Shift I. Shift I. Q for a potion. Shift I and Q for a potion. All right. Okay. Shift. <laughs> shift. I. It's uh, the. The strafing. Oh no, I put turned on sticky keys. Oh jeez, Louise. Here I am. Okay. Kinda don't like that it's shift, you know? I don't know. Let's uh <laughs> Okay. And then we have our sword with with uh the right right mouse button. I like that right mouse button has all the action while left mouse button has all the crafting uh, special skill mastery each character class has its own unique ability shield stealth or sprint the ability will require some time to cool down we press f to use a character specific ability now and uh, weapon inventory i keep facing your target okay so i'm gonna keep on getting some wood i guess and 
we can roll with space and there's a bit a little bit of a cooldown i think related to that yeah the uh the controller support is not my favorite the way it works thus far um okay so we when you have collected enough resources, you may begin to build the structures. Press B to open the build menu, select a structure, and press left mouse button where you'd like to build. Structures must be built near a light source. Start uh, your base by building a campfire and a workbench. Alright, we're going to do that. First, I will take care of this this uh, zombie. This adorable little innocent zombie. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to build build a little place here. All right, let's, let's put this here. Yay. Build a crafting table, maybe right here. And because it takes time, this whole building procedure, um, let me see. E. Okay. I I don't know what that sound effect is. Do you know what that sound effect is? I <laughs> I'm confused at it. Uh, so I'm gonna make a wall. I'm gonna make a wall too far from the player. Right here. I'm gonna build this wall. Okay. I think I put it way too close to this fire, but it's okay. It, it's, uh, we'll be fine. I think, I hope. Oh wait, that's the floor. This is the floor. It's okay though. We're gonna, we're gonna make the floor complete now. There we are. There's the floor. And let's go here and let's build the walls. this. Are these two kind of far away from each other? There's an opening right here. I'm just going to focus on making making walls. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a time-consuming thing. It's already 4.40 p.m. Now, around 10 p.m., it's going to get dangerous. It's going to get dangerous. <laughs> we have to be careful. I'm going to build more walls. Oh, no! I don't have enough. Oh, because I made floors, but I didn't make enough. Oh no, that's it's gonna be a bit of a bit of trouble. Wasn't very smart. It's okay though. Um, even if we've just ruined this run, it, it'll be okay. Everything will be fine. Actually, no, it won't. Please send help. I <laughs> I've made a stupid decision. I used all my wood on the flooring, um, and I just pushed a button. I don't know what I pushed. There we go. That was C. Let's take this wood over here. And I want to make make some good walls. Here we are. Alright. Walls. Can I not make any more walls? Oh, I can. I don't like the sound effect for for this I just don't care for it too much um it's 810 oh no <laughs> let me take a look see yeah see we need a lot of we need a lot my concern is that if we don't go out there and figure out the wood situation we're gonna be in some some trouble we can put on our torch here we just have to figure out we could just be on the move all night long i guess it's dangerous though okay so b too far away all right kind of funny that building will occur whether I'm there or not 
I wanted to make a door, but I don't think I have the means to make it. Yeah, actually, it needs a lot of money and it needs a lot of wood making a door. And also, this area might be... This area might be, um... No longer relevant. Ah! By that time. We get a lot of money from... From defeating these nighttime zombies. Let me press Q real quick. So I'm a little confused about the way that healing works. It looks like uh, healing is just something that you can constantly do on a regular basis if you're patient about it, I guess. I'm gonna continue my resource gathering journey. And then just pressing, just pressing Q every so often, uh, when I remember to. <laughs> oh, there's more zombies. Oh, he took down my fire! That was rude. So they will come and they will just, like, tear down your whole... Your whole, uh, little attempts at civilization. Oh no. The uh, turning back and forth, right? Make sure that you're angled in the right directions. It's a lot. Oh gosh, look at my, my health. So I find this game to remind me of like, I don't know, vampire survivors a little, but I don't know, like the zombies are on NyQuil or something, but so am I, honestly. Um, The frequency of healing is not, not great, but we made it through the night. We survived the night, essentially. I'm glad that they haven't torn down the little goofy area that I made over here. Press Q again. My ability to block, right? I mean, it's not like it's super hard to block because you just push space, but honestly, it makes more sense, um, I don't know, to have a sort of, uh, more at the ready method of blocking. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I feel like, I feel like blocking is more trouble than it's worth. Basically, I slash, slash, and then leave. Slash, slash, and leave. And do a lot of resource gathering. What is over here? Hmm. Getting a ton of wood. I didn't even really build, finish building that area, but a little bit of a spoiler. Those zombies can just tear down the whole thing. I mean, you already saw the, um how they, they tore down my little fire. <laughs> they tore it down. I'm just gonna continue healing and then trying to, yeah, look at this, they are still tearing things down. Ah, oh, so rude. Don't you guys know that this is supposed to be a, a decorating game? I'm trying to build something. Um, yeah, I, I wish that auto-healing was also a thing, maybe? Some form of auto-healing? Maybe that is a feature that might show up later? The enemies hit so hard. They, they hit awfully hard. It's interesting how some of them are faster than others. Hey, the Fallen Kingdom. When Eridorn, Percival, Dimitri, and Odin failed to defeat the terrible Lich Necrosarian, Elandris soon fell. The once glorious city is now the home of an undead horde. Perhaps you'll find something or someone there. Yeah. I need to heal a lot more before I have a chance at these... these ones. And then every so often look in the... I look in the corner... oh! I wonder if there's a limit on how much I can hold. I'm gonna push I real quick. Oh yeah, there is a limit. It's at 100 right now. It's already maxed out. I don't have maxed out wood... I mean, uh, stone, though. 
So that a little bit of fire. Yeah, that sound effect is not my favorite sound effect. Not sure what it means either. If I knew what it meant, it might be a little less irksome. Those who survived. Some have survived the attack on Alandris and the wave of undead that followed in its wake. Rescuing these survivors will allow you to ac uh, allow you access to more structures, and when placed in your base, they will join in your cause. Survivors produce last uh, resources. I was going to say lasting resources. Uh, daily, so long as they have enough food. So we're going to see if we can find... There we go. If it's just one little zombie, I think I can handle it. There we go. <laughs> oh, this zombie. Oh, pretty good health, too. I'm getting some money. Ooh, grave robbing zombies. What is this? Look at all that wood. <laughs> Pilfered that wood. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that I might make fire. I don't know where I want to make it. Right here? I'm a little worried that the fire might draw the zombies around here, though. Okay. Make this. This can be my little secondary... Secondary place. Alright. Walls, please. Something in the way. Okay. Can't see. Can I go through here? Yeah, I can. There's something in the way. What's in the way? Oh no, I accidentally put that down there. Escape. Escape again. So I can't put a wall here for some reason. Um, let me try again. Okay, very simple. Wall right here, there's something in the way. Is it me? I'm in the way. Can I put a wall down like here? I wish I could see more easily what I'm doing when it comes to this. There we go. Okay, I think it's it's uh, gonna work. Yeah, it, it works. Ish. <laughs> So I'm going to exit from that. Actually, let's see what else I can build. Plot of land that grows food over time. Where can I put it? Mm. Put it... Too far from a light source? Here we go. There we go. I like that healing is something that will come naturally, too, over time. Let's... let's do more of these. Uh-oh. 1 a.m. I didn't even know it was 1 a.m. What did they just do to my stuff? Oh gosh, vampire survivors. No! Okay, we're running. So the reason why I'm running and not going into a building is because... I kind of want to show it, though. Maybe I will cut to 
a clip I have of it, but it is not safe anywhere. Like, it is really not safe. The, the least safe place is in a building during the zombie apocalypse. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> oh goodness, some of them have unique special types of weapons and everything. Oh no. Trying to look for intelligent life. No luck yet, but yeah. Intelligent life, please. Hey, we have some wood over here. Can go for that wood. And just keep on moving, I guess. I uh... Okay, this door will not open. Ooh. Ouch. Half of my foot hurts for some reason all of a sudden. I didn't get stung by something. Oh, hey! What is this? I'll take it. Is that a better sword than what I have? It is almost six. Ah! Sorry, I looked away. Almost ended up in danger, too, from that. I wish I could just hide somewhere, but they can smell the meat on me. Ooh, look, this is, uh, distracting them. The, the house. Which is cool, because they tear it down, I'll just take the wood. Sounds like a plan. Oh no, I don't want to deal with you and your giant spear of death. I, I'm good. Did you get any wood for me? Over here, with your needless... Ooh, and take this one down, too. You know, I just realized the spear would probably be ideal. The spear would be just the ticket. Okay, short sword. I think I prefer the short sword. Let's let's do the short 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 sword. There we go. Short sword. I want to look in here. Is there something in here for me? There is not. Ooh. Um, excuse me. I'm trying to go down. Oh gosh. I don't know. Why. I'm so nervous about this man and his spear. He's guarding the... <laughs> He's guarding the sitting room over there. I mean, it would be a sitting room if there was a sofa over there. Sometimes it almost looks like he's gonna drop his spear or something, but no luck yet. Um... There we go. This place seems safe. I'm gonna... Take... All kinds of wood. And then we're gonna go search for intelligent life. It's harder than it sounds. Where is it? Hey, there's a... I want this thing. What, what is this made out of? Is this clay? Nope, it's just a... It's a... Not anything too terribly special. I feel like there should be treasure in here. There can be some special treasure just for me. Instead, it's just Wood City. And could use more food. Ooh, there's a treasure chest here, though. I like this heart-shaped building. How nice. Hey, oh my gosh, 320 G. What? It's amazing. Can I take this, uh... Ooh. Oh, what did I just get? Dagger does three damage. I already have a good situation there. I'm gonna take this down, then. Nothing else special. I am still very confused at this sound effect. I don't know what it means, and it makes me nervous. Let's... Let's go searching. What is this? Is this a bow? Did I just unlock a bow? I wouldn't mind using that bow. It sounds like a good idea. Can I do something with this? Just picked up a bunch of stuff that I could probably really use. That's nice. And this and this. We're just destroying everything. Um, another treasure chest. Oh, I guess there is treasure to be had. That's nice. So opening and closing the doors, there has to be a, like, a certain amount of space between you and the door, which it takes a little bit of getting used to. It definitely took me some... So I'm getting used to. So the only way I could see to survive a pretty brutal night where there's a lot of zombies is if you happen to be like in a maze-like house that had 
so many walls around it. And yeah. All right. I am still looking for individuals. No intelligent life. What about the map? The map doesn't help. I guess if I just keep going north. Also, can I sleep in the bed at night? See, that could be a game changer, but I haven't actually tried that. Let me go look. It looks like they're mingling in the middle of the day. <laughs> can I? No, I cannot. All I can do is just keep moving. Just keep moving. Hoping for the best. Ooh. What is all this? I'll take all that, sure. Why not? I'll take that too. I have a lot of money. Look at all of my money. Take that. I'll take a look. Ooh, the long sword. I'll take the long sword. Absolutely. Oh, there's a bow. I kind of like the idea of the bow, too. But the longsword? I'm gonna go with the longsword. I like it. So it's 850. Managed to get better weapons. Better everything. Have pretty good health. And as long as I stay on the move, I have a pretty decent chance at survival. Ish. Until I can find intelligent life. That is the goal. Intelligent life. Uh -huh. Picking up the coins, right? It's... <laughs> it's... Yeah. Even though this is supposed to be... Um... A longsword, it still feels like it doesn't have enough range. Ooh. We need to make sure we do not get stuck. Ah! It's a bunch of... I wish I had some more... More extraordinary... Ah! There we go. <laughs> Just use my special to run. This, this is a game... This is like a horror game. I'm spending more time running away than anything. So, since it's close enough to morning, we can try to hide in here. But I must warn you, the hiding is not... doesn't work for very long. Also, I will go ahead and make a simple wooden wall here. Never mind, escape. Escape. Ah. See, they will. There's no light source, it says. But I don't really want to stick around here anyway. I want to... I want to figure out, like, where am I going? What am I doing? I'm trying to uh, survive the zombie horde. And remember to play Darkwood someday. So it reminds me a bit of this for some reason. I like that my special with F is essentially like the runaway... Runaway special. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you take that? No, I cannot. It's the runaway special. Ah. I already have wood. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so 520. 520. They slow down during the day. Ooh, I got a key. What can I do with that key? Yeah. Can't see anything terribly useful for me to do with... with, um... with wood yet. I mean, the way that these zombies can just tear down civilization just like that. And look at the look at them all colluding. Them all strategizing on how to take me down. Hmm. I don't like that 
you can kind of pick up wood, but then, like, you don't want to because you're full, so it just kind of disappears into nowhere. What is going on here? He can't use his sword from behind his back. Okay. Ah, I almost got hit right there. <laughs> going on over here? This is safer, I think. And I haven't been noticed. There's actually a lot of potential in this this area here. I haven't been noticed by any dangerous creatures yet. Oh, look at all that money. So if I die, I wonder if I get bonuses based on how much I've managed to acquire of money and resources and things like that. Alright, so we have a bunch of friends over ooh boss enemies right here in fact i think they'd be uh good ones to practice the bow on let me do that <laughs> ah Yay! <laughs> Let me press F again to quickly, speedily go through here. Fantastic. There was another enemy here. Where are you? Ooh. Ah! I made it! See, if I have a really, really good bow, I would say that the combat could actually be really uh, pleasant. I mean, it's already kind of pleasant with this bow. I feel like this area is really nice. Um, this area could be my ideal area. I'm going to repurpose this church. I'm going to make it an amazing church. And we're going to gonna have a light source. I'm confused. Um, B. Why can't I? What is up with this? <laughs> I can't do anything else there, uh. Can't make anything there either. I guess I can't really do anything with this area. I can't repurpose it the way I'm thinking. I wish that it just auto targeted instead of making me turn around. Um, I have to turn around manually. I mean, they already take a while to go down, these enemies. And then... I want to go in that hole. See what's up. There we go. Ah. We got a key. Infinite arrows is nice. Uh, of course, actually targeting correctly would be even nicer. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely prefer using the bow and arrow here. This is uh, it's much better as far as controls. It's really going to suck to lose all my... Oh gosh, what just happened? Something crazy happened. Okay. Anyway, I was saying it was it's really going to suck to lose all of my weapons when I die. Because <laughs> I envisioned that happening. So I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something more. Finding something, someone, some signs of intelligent life. I have not had any luck yet. Yeah. I'm just running. I don't even know where I'm running to anymore. Oh gosh, this is a dead end. Hee <laughs> It's night time. Dangerous time. Dangerous. Everything's dangerous. You can go hide in there. At least in horror games, I can go hide in there. I um, wonder if there's a way to sleep. So I find it interesting that this is going to be a sort of colony building sim, a life sim, where we're going to be able to... Uh, make this a thriving area, I assume? Because, like... 
don't really see how that's possible quite yet. This is where I came from. You can just get money. I wish there was a real thing that I could do with my money. I mean, I'm going to have to find survivors first, I guess. It seems safer here than in that that other area in the um, main castle town-like area. Let me look here. And so that's the map. Not terribly helpful. Mm. The sound effects are a little bit... I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear them through this video, but... Um, a bit loud and kind of and over the top they lack a certain um subtlety that i think i'd prefer okay so there's nothing here really i'm gonna keep on moving and look at myself at myself here i have some health gen hunger penalty oh no that's right i have five i need to try to get some some food there wasn't really any in that old town. Mm. But I bet the berry bushes might help. Okay. Ah. Ah. It hit hard. Oh no, not that spear-wielding one. Another new day. Still have not found too much that stands out a lot. Let me... whoops. Ah. I can run. <laughs> I can run really quickly. I can do quicker actions when I press F. For a while I can. So, did pick up more food. way. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm gonna go back, actually, in the direction of... Ah, almost banging into these enemies, too. I col collected some berries that I definitely needed. And now, I can just go back here. No, up there, please. a little too long for them to go down. I wish there was a sort of natural leveling system based on the amount of combat, which maybe there is and I just don't know. It's nice to have two keys, but I don't really have a use for them quite yet. Oh, I keep missing. <laughs> I keep missing. Really? Alright. Okay, we're gonna get this. And we're gonna look around everywhere, I guess. Is there anything here? Ooh, money. Oh gosh. I wish I had a really meaningful spell that I could use. Take down everybody. Ah. I'll just let that money go. Um, hmm. What was that just now? There's another bow over here. I wonder if this one is good. Let's see if I get any... Okay, is it safe for me to just open my inventory? Yep, it is safe. Okay, that's good. So this has four attack, five something. Four attack, five something. Honestly, the bow is the best thing that I have to my name right now. Let's... 
Okay, it does pause for that. J? Those who survived. One survivor. I still have not found. Um... We want to try, though, to find... Hmm. What's that? Okay. Escape. No way to save quite yet. Trying to find a survivor. I assume it's cause some kind of, uh... Scripted situation where the survivor is here somewhere. Just don't know where. Hmm. I wonder what I should be doing at this point with my resources since I managed to acquire some decent ones. I mean a decent enough number of them. Ooh, what is that? So much money. A whole lot of usefulness it has here, though. Ah, we have three keys. Well, we have one key, actually. Oh, that's weird. It says one key down there, but I... <laughs> what do I do with the whole one key? Let's go this way. Oh, I can go this way, I think. Nope, I cannot. Oh my goodness, what is this? How exciting. I'm going down there. Yay. Survivors! Hi! Please don't hurt me. I'm friend. Hello? Who are you? Um... <laughs> uh... That, that's how conversations go. Death is inevitable, and when it comes, you'll be able to use the heads of zombies you have felled to purchase permanent upgrades. After death, all resources and structures will be reset, but until then, let's do our best to stay alive. Survive for five or more days. I'm gonna pretend he said that. Outlast the odds. Five or more days. I mean, I'm on day five, so... I mean, seems like I did something right. Zero out of five. No, I have to survive ten days now. Ten days. Goodness. What did I just get? I'm on the lookout for a better boat. Ooh, look at that Warhammer. I bet it's slow, though. Let me see what it's like. Oh, that is slow. Nope. Nope. I prefer my bow. Um, it would be nice if it wasn't so slow. It's, that's how hammers often work in games. So this area is pretty much perfect. Time is passing. And not a... Not a zombie to be found. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out what I should do down here. You know what? Maybe I can make. Nope, I can't push B. <laughs> I was gonna say that I could make a crafting table down here and just craft a bunch of cool stuff, uh, but I don't see that as a opportunity. So, where is that guy anyway? Where did he go? See, it says up there, zero people. In that upper bar. He has disappeared into thin air. I am so confused. I know I did. Did I kill him? I don't think I killed him. I assume I did not kill him. You know, I think I prefer being down here. At least for the night. I can ponder. Ponder life. And... I don't know. I wish it was possible to sleep, right? Like sleep down here. Maybe there could be special safe zones that uh, can can be utilized. I know that could take down the difficulty somewhat, but it seems like it would be worth it. Yep, cannot craft when we're here. I don't know. I just I'm gonna be braver. Try to be a little more brave. Hmm. Because we're looking for more quest unlocks. So it looks like it reset the zombies, didn't it? So at least that's something useful to have from going up and down the stairs. And reset zombies. It's pretty cool. What's up here? I want to go there. Okay, that's dangerous. 
the um, NyQuil having, but very powerful. Um, vampire survivor style zombies. Looks like he's dropping his spear, which is... I mean, I wish he would, because I wouldn't mind having a spear. Ah! All right. Can I go here? I would like to. Not really much of an indication on what to do next. It's 3 a.m. Be nice to have like an extra powerful. Ooh, I can find a better. Did I find something interesting there. I'm gonna go and break the other one too. Who knows what kind of neat RNG um, neat thing we could get. It would be f so satisfying to uh, to have like some kind of really powerful magic to take down a whole crazy crazy bunch of these, but I'm just not powerful enough. Look at this. I can't even get the gold that I managed to pick up. No, oh, I'm not aiming at the right spot. Three, four, finally. Ah, no. Ooh, that was that was crazy. That was a lot of damage just now. <laughs> no. I need to figure out what I need to do next. This? Um, outlast the odds. Oh yeah, outlasting the odds. Just living from day to day, I guess. Well, I feel like we have better chance of survivability down south, and we also will get food that we need. Because there doesn't appear to be a way to really... What did I just pick up? I There's a little bit of excitement in the sense of, like, be nice to get... Ultimately, all I want is a really great bow, honestly. But I will try this out. Okay. Two hits. That is not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Great club. How is the great club work? Oh no, not you. Oh hey, this one is like a sweep sweep. Let's try it. Sweep sweep. Sweep sweep. Oh, you have a combo and everything. Nice. I don't like that sword having fellow. I like the combat, actually. It's, uh... It is pretty challenging, honestly. Sweep, sweep. It's like struggle sweeps. Ah, <sighs> a lot of money. I like that money is useless. It really is. Um, let's go to... This area. Let's... So, ooh, I didn't even really look over on this side, did I? Not really. Go ahead and explore. We'll use our super-powered running. I might really be into this game. I mean, I might... This might be one of those games that I really, really must spend a lot of time. I just... I like it. I wish we could take over this area, though. Sweep, sweep. I don't feel safe doing the second attack. Because in the time it takes for him to pull off the second attack, he could get hit. That's not too bad, actually. What is this? Is this another? I want to look. Great club. Warhammer. Yeah, the Warhammer is just too slow. The Great Club, though, I am cool with the Great Club. It works out well for me. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I feel like music should be playing with each hit. I 
think I got hit a few times, did I? Wish healing was more effective. Ah, oh, too many zombies. I want to go up here, but I can't. I need a bomb. Do any of you fine fellows have a bomb? I could use to go over there. Oh, thank you. Free wood. I'm all good, though. I don't need it. Where shall I go? I just... I guess all I need to do is survive, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning area, and I'll just build rooms and houses and stuff, because, like, I have all these materials, right? So this is like the material gathering site, and there's not really much else to do aside from survive, and I might not survive if I'm not careful. <laughs> it looks like I'll just be making my, my lair down south somewhere, so I can always come back here later. Alright. I'm glad I have a decent enough weapon. It's pretty nice. Oops, what am I doing? I'm so silly. Forgot about this button here. Oh no, it's nighttime already. <laughs> Wish it wasn't nighttime, actually. Careful. Okay, zombies up there, but still not as dangerous as other areas. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is as dangerous as other areas. Yeah, it seems like a bad idea to just be wandering around at night. Either way, I figure something out so I don't wander at night. Ah! Almost died? <laughs> oh gosh. I don't like that one. Why is this a dead end? Why is my healing so terror bad? Ah! Ah! <gasps> I died! Oh no! I didn't survive the five days. Ah. <laughs> wow. Wouldn't it be cool, though, if I could come across my character? Wow. So, what did I have here? Increase the range in which items can be picked up. Increases the amount of storage gained from all crates and barrels. Increases the amount of gold gained from all enemies. Do that. Supply depot. Can I do anything here, too? Actually, I'd rather... I don't know. Oh no, stats! I should have done stats! Yeah. Can I undo some of these? I cannot. Oh no! Class specialization. See, I could have used my stuff to try to maybe do other better things, but... I... Yeah, okay, so we do have this second tree open, though. That's pretty nice. Find additional sources of food around the world. Master of brews. Decrease the amount of between of time between potion uses. That's going to be helpful to do. Weird that um, the second layer didn't show up until I did this. Spend 10 points in skill tree to unlock tier 3. Oh, okay. I guess. Yeah. Enter to continue. Um, Wow. This game is really really impressive i actually uh i i want to play it again i <laughs> can i just continue from i don't know am i powerful am i let me see here see because this is a demo so that might just be it for now um i don't know if i can see for example like does my character benefit from from this stuff, is there a way to see? 
Mm. See the, the ways in which I've changed things, right? But yeah, this, oh, this, this is, I like this. So anyway, that was Rogue Knight and most likely going to pursue the uh, full version because it definitely seems like my type of game. Uh, really impressive demo. I mean, I, I played for longer than I, <laughs> I, I play games too long, but um, yeah, really feeling this. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.